Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Leo. The devil is caught. For you to create, for you to manifest, for you to build, you got to let go of this thing because there's a gift here. I see the Queen of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Queen of Cups, and the Lovers. The King of Wands, and here's the Empress again. Wow. Heavy Capricorn energy out here. Aries. Libra, Taurus. But the Empress is out here twice. Okay. Th this is an Empress, and, and this is more of a seasoned Empress. Let me see. The Devil. This is, like I said, that awareness of realizing that something here, it needs to go. The Queen of Pentacles is here with the Emperor. The Queen of Cups and the Lover. So this speaks of a choice. In love, a partnership, a soul contract. And I really, I'm, I don't really want to focus right now on love as it, but for some, this has a lot to do with the partnership. We've been saying that for quite some time. We did just come out of Gemini season. In but on the both sides of this emperor is the queen of pentacles and the queen of cups and then the lovers. I, I'll be honest with you, like I'm seeing so many different things. I'm definitely seeing... There's a masculine who is standing between two different paths or worlds where it's you can choose the path where there is going to be emotional fulfillment or you can choose the path of having security and stability. This is do you want to be um, seen as being i guess more spiritual or worldly someone here has to make a decision do you are you more like do you really believe in eternal life do you really believe that there's more to this life than what you see because the, the, the enemy, the devil, has been coming in with these self-limiting thoughts and beliefs and the illusions and everything else to get someone trapped into believing that it pretty much if you sell your soul and if you go for just the material things or only what you can see and touch, if you don't have the faith and the trust to really believe in yourself or in God, then you're going to take a, a major loss here, but that's not the case. It just depends on what you believe. So I'm definitely seeing a masculine here who is like needing to choose. Now, masculine could be male or female, but somebody here is needing to choose and possibly go against even the empress here being here. This could be um, someone's mother. It could be a mother figure. It could be a maternal bloodline. There's a, a, a teaching here of, oh, you need to go for a certain type. Do a certain thing. But this emperor is like, but all of my happiness, my joy, my contentment is on the other side of this. It may be hard for you to see the cards, but it's like you have possibly a mother, mother figure here. This person is like the culprit in some type of situation when it comes to this queen of pentacles. This is like, you know, like the Jezebel energy and, and the daughter, you know, or whatever. And then it's like this masculine is here. Where on the other side of the masculine is the queen of cups, the lovers, and then you see the king of wands. This masculine, I feel, is catching, kind of like catching hell because they're choosing true love. And here's the Empress. So somebody is saying, well, whatever their their mother or their family or their 
the wife or the mother of their children or whomever, somebody is, is choosing to not go for a conventional lifestyle. And I feel like they are facing one heck of a battle in choosing something that is more in alignment with their higher self. Like, most definitely. Someone here is struggling because of a lot of self-limiting thoughts and beliefs. Because of, like I said, what they've been taught. Or or just what they've been experiencing. This empress, this, like I said, mother figure. There could be someone's ex-wife and ex-lover, uh, godmother, aunt, whomever. But this, this energy here has been caught. Somebody, and if you notice on this card, you see these two people, and the and then here's the lovers. There's two people here who is recognizing um darkness in their life, some type of mindset that has had them bound. There's a lot of emphasis though for sure on like a mother figure, whoever that is. The moon. And when I think of the moon, I think, yeah, this is coming out. Somebody, there's a lot of downloads coming. This this Cancer New Moon is about to bring a lot of down downloads about the mother. The mother, the home, the family, the world card. Y'all, oh my goodness. You see the world, the moon, and then the world, the strength. You're, you're about to really like come all the way out of the matrix do you literally it's like the other day we saw the world card and the temperance together now the world card is out twice and double moon literally it's the reading that i did in the, the last three days where the temperance card i think it was a temperance yeah it was double temperance double world now it's double world double moon the strength in the page of swords Okay, so this could be like a, a, a um, fire and water with that temperance energy, but the moon and the temperance, there's a lot of harmony and every like structure and balance that is being sent to the collective to balance out your home and your intuition. I'm assuming like Neptune Neptune going in retrograde and Saturn going in retrograde, the, the, the lessons and the illusions are being like shifted out. So you're going to start to get all of these major downloads and understand where the attacks and everything have been coming from. But now the double moon is out here. This moon energy is you're going to see, like I said, on the good side of the moon energy, the high intuition, you know, the shadow work, the healing, but you're also going, that's going to come from you seeing the, the dark, the shadow aspect of a person, place, thing, or situation that has been bringing about like a lot of, you know, I literally just heard death, disease, and dishonor. So for some, there is some type of entity, and this could even be in your family or an unclean spirit that you picked up from a, a connection of some sort, but something here has purpose. It's been constantly, I feel like attacking you or someone that you're connected to, but it's over the world card. It's like this Saturn energy is over. It almost seems like a person, a thing, an entity, something knows that it's time is up and it's still holding on for dear life. Like something is like, no, because, Oh my goodness, the freaking temperance and the star. You've healed beyond this. And the devil has been in the background the whole time. Yeah, with this manipulation, trying very hard to make you miss an opportunity because there's a brand new beginning here. And like I said, you're the golden child. It's the golden egg. It's like somebody has been kicking kicking you around on purpose. But you're you're the the most valuable. You're the the greatest asset. You're the you're the inheritance. Someone it, it's something about like a, a spiritual inheritance where it's like you're inheriting something spiritual. But your it's like your family, your bloodline, they inherited you. You're gonna inherit something. But then there's still another cord here tied to another 
personal thing. Like, it's something that you're meant to manifest. But it's like, you're free from something. One thing that I will say in this reading and everything, you are being free from something. It may not look or feel like it. Because you're, these illusions are being cleared out. There was a really bad thunderstorm here yesterday. And I was sitting outside, sitting outside on, or maybe it was the day before yesterday. I'm sorry. And it was like, I was literally sitting outside. It, it was, it was pretty bad because there was actually a house that caught on fire from being struck by lightning. And I felt the thunderbolt. I'm telling you, I felt it in my stomach. And it was like spirit was talking to me. A lot has been happening lately with these storms. But something in your core, something in your womb. When I was looking at the clouds, it was like you could see like a little bit of light. But it was these thick black clouds. And it was just like, like this is the center. The clouds, you could tell them like breaking apart. It's like there's a, 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 a yoke, a, the undoing of a yoke here. Um... Something about the egg and the and the yolk, the egg and the yolk. So again, going back to the mother, there's an undoing here of of something that a person is tied into with with the home, the mother, the family. It's an undoing. Like some of you, to be completely honest, because I'm dealing with it myself, and, I, and I'm I'm saying it here. It's an undo. You you have to separate is something in the family and the bloodline the home that like i said death disease destruction and dishonor it just started i just i hear thunder and i promise you it's sunny outside how can i explain it's like blood genetics you know as long as you're tied into something you inherit everything that it comes with. It's it's time to for an undoing. This is somebody. Somebody has to get away from their, um, like a, a wife, a mother, mother figure. It's a bad energy around this person. I, it's like I'm going back to biology where you you can see like the nucleus inside. It's like I can see it. It's like the the origin of something. But it's something around it that is just, it's bad. It's not for you. And there's been all this manipulation because it's like something in your life or a person, they're tied into something that has opened you up to it. This is like, this is family or it could be within a marriage. However, it resonates, and it's time for you to be free. You have the temperance, the star, the sun. It, you, it's like going back to soul contract, the the tower. You were born into a family, you or, or you had a marriage, you had a child with somebody, whatever. You were meant, you signed up for that to teach you those lessons. Well, now that you have to learn the lessons, you have to separate from it. You, it's like okay, thanks. I got to go. You know, it's it's like, or you you had a job and you hated that job, but you you needed to learn those skills in order to move on. You, there's no point in, in, in you hating it or anything like that. It's no harm, no foul, no love lost, but you just can't stay there anymore. It's like you have to go. It's graduation. You, you, like, there's nothing else. Remember I said earlier about, like, leaving things undone like that? There's nothing more that you can manifest. It's like uh, somebody here is just tired. Like, I'm trying to manifest everything here, and it's just not working. It's because it's something here is really just not meant to be. And also, the people who are working against you... No matter what they do, whatever they're doing to hurt you, harm you, or stop you, block you, or delay you, it's just not meant to. That's why their magic or whatever, it's not working. And when it comes to you trying to heal this situation or this person, where it's just, it's not working because it's really, something here is just really not meant to be. That's why the tower is here. And it, look, the hangman. He is no longer upside. This is coming to you, letting you know you, what you see is the truth. 
It is the chariot. Moon energy, cancer energy. It is time for you to move away from a situation here. The king of cups, the queen of swords. You're, 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 you're not seeing something clearly. About a person, place, thing, or situation. You're just not seeing it clearly. Knight of Wands, the Hierophant, Death, the Sun, the Justice. Wow. It's either you're not seeing something clearly about a person. So, it's a lot of layers to this. It's like you're not seeing something clearly, I feel. You're not seeing a, an enemy clearly. I feel like somebody here is really trusting the words or the advice, the hierophant is here. This could be of a preacher, a spiritual leader, or someone here in your family. You're trusting a doctor. Like, you're a trusting someone that you feel. Is official. Like, they're knowledgeable. They, you're trusting, a, a, a like, the guidance of something or someone. Or just, like... Your your morals, your 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 values, what you've been taught, your beliefs. It's time to come to the realization that like it's all been an illusion. King of Cups here. It's like either you're in an illusion about a connection with a person, or you have a person around you that has been purposely trying everything to make you feel like what you know about a person place thing or situation is incorrect because like i said here here's the emperor with the queen of pentacles over here with the empress but then the queen of cups and the lovers is here and the real true divine empress here's the king of cups it's like there's a connection out here but you have a person this is someone's mother okay somebody's mother who I'm just going to say it's unhealed who cannot recognize true love or something like that. This person has been hell bent on trying to make somebody believe that they're not supposed to be going towards a connection. But see, the reason why a lot of people have been going through so much when it comes to these divine connections, possibly moving towards marriage, especially is because you will no longer be yoked with your family. Your dark karmic family, you will no longer be tied into it. You will no longer be the source of energy for, for their vitality, for their abut like, like somebody's family is feeding off of them. Like it's like these people are, are willing to feed off of you until they can no more because here's the sun. Summer solstice. This could be a masculine, male or female, but It's almost like somebody's family or a lover or something. Somebody is fully aware that somebody is chosen. They know, like I said, going back to the vision, it's like kicking an egg around when it was even like a, a thing. I'm, I think on, on social media where people were doing like a challenge to see how would a baby react to it. Even a, a baby, an infant, when they see an egg, they automatically want to protect it. It's like somebody has a golden egg and they've been kicking it around knowing that it can break. They won't kick it hard enough to force it to break because they need it. It's a golden egg. But because they know that you're the golden egg or they know that you're supposed to be connected to somebody who's golden, like they're they're bullying you just because. They're they're trying to taunt you and torment you just for the heck of it it's like they want to bruise the egg but they don't want to break it because they still want to be in possession of it it's it's like it's 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 something it's magical as long as the egg is there and they are they are in possession of it they can feed off of it some of you you don't realize either you or your person people around you they're they're feeding off of you for your spiritual gifts health vitality money all kinds of stuff and i feel like it's that you know the last should be first the first should be last 
these divine beings need to step up now and, and take back control of what belongs to them. These friends, family members, lovers, or, or whomever, the people at the church or the occultists, whoever, these people, you have to cut the cords and, and take back all of your power and your energy. There is somebody out here who is 100%. I'm telling you, like, they're, they're feeding off all of the energy of a person. And then, again, it's like your who you are, who you are in spirit. Because it, it's something about your name, who you are in spirit. And somebody does not want you to be present. It's, it's something here about presentation. Like I said, like, it, it's like a Cinderella-like story. Like, somebody doesn't want you to be seen, even though they know you're golden. Like, they... um. They just want you to be bruised and damaged. It's like, like in Harry Potter, like Harry Potter. And I'm, I'm getting Cinderella and Harry Potter. So this could be like somebody is a, is, is royal. And then you have a person here who is like a super magical, right? And Harry Potter, you know, his family, the, the family that adopted him, they had him like living in the worst conditions. And the last thing they wanted him to do was to go out and to, to Hogwarts to learn anything about actually being a wizard, to learn anything about his history. They never wanted that to happen. If you look at like Cinderella, like <laughs> how they mistreated her, but she she was the one who was chosen. It's that's what's happening here. But there's a major switch that's about to happen because once you're seen, that's that's it. The whole goal of these individuals is to make sure that you're simply just not seen. As long as you, you don't see yourself as being the one of value, you won't be, you won't be seen by anybody who will come in and make you like, like any, they don't want you to be seen by somebody that's going to come in and, and increase your value. Because, again, the more that your value is increased, the more that you grow, you evolve, and you ascend, the less likely it's going to be for these people to have any access to you. And they're feeding off of you. But see, it's, it's over. It's a nail in the car. Something here is over. And then the page of wands here. Yeah, it's like you have to take back control to be liberated the high look at this queen of cups she's liberated high priestess and the star the fool somebody here has has been a fool in trying to hold on to your energy this golden egg somebody has been trying to hold on to this but see you have to call justice in this situation you have to and this is where a lot of people are afraid the hermit and the empress in the reverse somebody here is losing access it's over look at this this is archangel king of swords out here twice something here is over there this could be a masculine energy so again i'm getting for masculine and feminine and for some this is a divine couple it's been coming out for the last week actually longer for some there's a masculine out here who has a person in their life this this right here has to do with blood y'all i'm telling you i know this is like spiritual it's a spiritual battle it's like warfare but it's like a blood battle like bloodline wars here because the emperor is here and it's in the reverse it's like i don't know if there's a feminine out here or a masculine but Someone has lost access to be able to look into the life of a person and cause all of these like obstacles and challenges and they're really mad because I feel that somebody has probably tried to open up a, a portal or a gateway or something so that they will always have this access to you to feed off of you and it has become harder for this energy that's probably working with an entity being there working with a group of cult coven church or whatever 
it has become too hard for somebody to feed off of you. I just want to take a moment and say, those of you right now who you're feeling, because I can tell, very confused, helpless, hopeless almost, trust me, whatever this is, it's it's either over or it's almost over. I feel an energy where somebody is scrambling, like still trying to, but do you see the doubles though? You have the King of Swords out here that came out doubled. The world came out together and the moon came out together. This um, <laughs> cancer season, y'all, is seriously, we just, <sighs> mm. today is the 23rd. There was a new moon last Saturday. Okay, okay. There was a new moon last Saturday. So on the Gemini new moon, the retrograde, Saturn retrograde started. So for a lot of you, if you've had a person that has been tied to you through some type of karma that has for sure been trying to block your love life or something like that, now the Saturn, Saturn is in retrograde, you have to learn a lesson and figure out who this enemy or what this entity or whatever it was. But now it's like we're, the summer solstice is here. Cancer season is beginning. The truth is coming out. And then at the end of the month, Neptune is going to retrograde. All of the illusions are out. Like somebody knows that after this, like, ooh. oh, yeah, it's a wrap. And I just looked here, July 3rd is the Capricorn full moon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That just put everything into perspective right there. Oh, yeah, this is over. I mean, over, over. Capricorn full moon. That's what I'm saying. This devil energy is over. Because, see, the devil will be able to work best with the, the power of using illusions, mind magic, this is why everybody, your dreams and the mind control and the crown chakra, all this stuff has been happening. But see, everything that somebody did against you, it was to teach you lessons. But they already know if it didn't work, like the time is completely out. Wow. Yeah. The time is out. It, it's up. Somebody was trying to, to do this because, you know, in a few weeks, Leo season begins. That sun energy. Mm -hmm. Somebody was trying to most likely steal something. And, and for some of you... You even have like family members or ex-lovers or companies. They're trying to make sure that they can get your energy so that when this more abundant time comes, they're right there to catch it. This has something to do with somebody's, your energy. There's um some, I'm telling you, it's, it's some type of, gateway or portal that a person is using to try to access your energy and this has fallen apart because somebody can't watch you and the emperor represents like a boss um the the leader of of a company an organization the it's like the head of something the headmaster of something you call justice on this so whoever this is that has been able for so long to drain you energetically they can't anymore it's your way to protection you're too protected the front and the back is protected somebody has been accessing you y'all i'm telling you somebody is into some energy work seriously because it's just like if you know about chakras you have front chakras and you also have back chakras so if you you put up protection around the front somebody what they've been, they've been going through the back i'm gonna you know it's like okay you got a, a camera in the front so i can't get through that way let me go through the back 
Somebody is looking for every type of entry point that they can to get into your energy. I'm telling you, chakras, it's so clear. People don't know you have to read your front chakras and the back. So somebody, if you don't know that, you're like, well, yeah, I'm good. You know, I'm, everything's clear. No, somebody has been sneaking through the back door. Somebody ha has found like a, some type of gap. And it's like all the doors are locked. This person, they sleeping through the window. This person always looks for an entry point. Or this entity or whatever to get in. They can't though. It's over. Your front and your back is sealed up. It's like... And lately we've been seeing Archangel Raphael and Michael. It's like you've... For some of you, you've gained a, another angel, another guide. Like your protection has to double up because whoever or whatever this is, it's so, it's like bloodthirsty. It wants you so bad. Y'all, this is, I, I was, <sighs> mm -mm -mm. this is crazy. It's like something, it's, it's so thirsty for you. Like it wants you or it wants your person so bad and every single time you close and that's so interesting to me i'm hearing like back door this person is going through the back door gemini the two head is i'm telling you it's something This whatever this person did though, they they've opened up something to still get access to your energy, because I feel like you sealed everything. But it, it was something here that wasn't t sealed enough. This person they went through a different way, or somebody here has started to practice something else. This is for sure like an occultist or a group cult coven or something, and they're like, oh, okay, well we can't get in that way. Let's try this way. So it's like they can't get through with your emotion. So let's 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 affect your logic. Let's play with your mind or, or whatever it is. This is what I was I was saying earlier about your habits, your routine. You need to be as pure as possible at this time because whatever this energy, this very dark is, it's you. It's trying to gain access to you, and it's going through. Any and everything. It's going through friends, family. It's trying to get through anything. It wants you bad. Like, this is a bloodthirsty demon. It wants you so bad. Knight of Cups and the Judgment. And this does, it has like, literally this card, it fell, it didn't come out completely. I shuffled some more, it still came out. This is about love, y'all. You got some kind of entity or something that is like, well, what it is too, like I said, too. So, we talked a few weeks ago about that entity that um i mentioned that's against marriage but it's more than one so somebody is perhaps using yet another demonic force or, or dark spirit or something like that to try to attack you and or your person or your union because, again, you guys have to think about when you go into a new contract, it's just like, um, how do I want to say this? Like your name, right? Your name, it changes when you, like when you're married. Who you are in the spirit, oh my goodness, thank you. Who you are in the spirit changes with marriage. You become one with somebody. Somebody is trying to make sure, and I said this the other day, 
about a person or like for some of you, you have a, an energy that has been tied to you because of, of something in your family, in your bloodline. You, you could have met a lover. They've attached themselves to you because of something in your bloodline, in your family. When you yoke yourself with someone else, perhaps in marriage, how you are seen in the spirit is going to change. This thing will no longer have access to you. This is the reason why you have people that are trying so hard to block you from being married. Because apparently whoever you are going to be with is pretty official in the spirit. Their spiritual rank is so high or your spiritual rank is so high. Somebody is trying to keep two people from it's it's like twin flame it's kingdom marriages. They want to keep because of once you become together who you are in the spirit, you're untouchable. You're undefeated. You're you're so strong spiritually. Nobody will be able to connect to your energy at all. It's something about these two people coming together where the, all of the people around you, friends, family, lovers, they, they're they all in cahoots like to make sure that you, you cannot take somebody else's name because the thing that's keeping you tied to this darkness right now is like your status. It's your name. You know, it's like Cinderella, when, when she's married, she, she's, the, she changes. This this is like friends and people. They don't want you to transcend like a, a social class. They don't want it, it's just it's it's an attack on marriages, y'all. I'm telling you, I don't know what this is, but somebody has unleashed like this entity and it's attacking, it's a portal, it's a gateway, it's something here. And it's like they sent something in that couldn't get in. So they was like, okay, well, cool, let's send this in. So you have like different, like the princes of hell. So if somebody couldn't get you with lust, they're like, well, let's try to get that person with um, gluttony or something else. I, I couldn't get, it's something here. You, you got to tighten something up because the, the entity that they've been sending to connect to you, that has a connection prop, perhaps to like a, a, a heavy sin or karmic debt, maybe in your bloodline or your family, because you've healed that, it's now moving on to something else. This right here, whatever the situation is, all in all, it's going to completely spiritually like cleanse and purge you. Like 100%. Because it's like, okay, well, we, like I said, we can't get that person with lust. So maybe ego or maybe like somebody is, is now going after yet another possible open wound that you have this person is like no you you cannot make you you cannot decide to accept love so you guys will probably notice how so many people like they're totally against you being in love or in a marriage or a connection or you know every time you're close to a person like they they're on your case it's be, it, it's it's probably not even that person it's an entity on it, it's it's a, a a demon honestly that has been contracted to block you from from holy matrimony because once you enter that contract of marriage you're untouchable it can't it can't touch you it can't do anything to you anymore but see somebody is coming in there's an offer that's in movement. It's in route to you. And somebody here is looking. Spiritual spine, somebody is looking. And what they're also seeing too is that whatever entity they sent, they're like, they sent something out that didn't work. You better believe that they trying to send something else out. Yeah. This person's like, sheesh, what am I going to do now? Because look, it didn't work. Somebody here it knows that a spell or something did not work. They're going back there like, okay, we couldn't get through. Like I said, we couldn't get through the front. Let's try the back. Okay, we can't get through the doors. Let's try the windows. Okay, the water magic didn't work. Okay, now try fire magic. Fire magic didn't work. Okay, try gin magic. Somebody is throwing everything from a book of shadows or whatever they have 
towards you. And look, the offer is still there. And this person is like, what the f Like, how? How is this? This is a hot. Somebody's like, I don't understand. How are you still getting this contract? How are you still going to get this twin? Fly? Somebody here has done everything. And look at this, y'all. The king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles together. It's just destined. Somebody, somebody here has done everything to try and stop somebody. It's like some, this has been like a person's um like their biggest like like somebody has been studying. Someone attacked you, and because it's not working, this person has tried everything. And nothing has worked. This person, like, I just, they don't understand. How? How is this possible? I don't know who this person is to you. Okay? But I'm telling you, understand. There's more than one. There's multiple layers. A lot of you, you're only looking at, oh, it's my ex. Or it's my mom. Or da, 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 da. No. This right here goes back to something, like I said, perhaps in the blood, the, the bloodline, ancestor, whatever. Somebody has possibly gone like into your Akashic records. They know your pain point. They know exactly what is like your biggest issue. So let's say somebody knows that like you have a problem with making money. They're assigning dark spirits and, and entities or whatever to you to keep you stuck and stagnant or have financial constraints. If, if somebody knows that you have an issue with, you know, your dating life, somebody, they're, they're throwing everything to attack you because the, usually whatever in your life is your biggest blessing where your greatest favor comes from is what the enemy is going to attack. So if you're supposed to have like this most beautiful love relationship, most likely that's what has been attacked the most. If you're meant to be wealthy, your finances is what's constantly being attacked. I feel like there's a divine feminine and masculine. One of you, the, the two of you are supposed to have love and wealth. It's a twin flame connection. Both of you are being attacked. Where your greatest favor comes from is where your greatest spiritual battle will be. Somebody here hates the fact that you've made successful life choices. This is an energy vampire. Somebody wants all of your attention on them and nothing else. Yeah, this is coming to an end, though. The more awareness you have about this and the more you protect your energy and and close off these portals that people are using the better they talk about you behind your back somebody wants to alter your views your morals and your views on life this could be friends family lover this is those people who are telling you you know something is good for you you know a job or relocating a relationship you know something is right for you and you have these same people that's constantly telling you no because they're they're planted in your life to do this so that you won't leave them behind because i'm telling you when you go into this new this new contract you're leaving everything behind i mean everything block sacral chakra jupiter retrograde see somebody is trying to block your sacral chakra your sacral chakra that's going to control you know your abundance your connections your creativity desire emotions fertility jupiter retrograde that's it says problems with making important life changes for future benefits expansion abundance prosperity yes somebody is trying to literally block off your life purpose and a lot of you a big part of your life purpose is this this courtship, this marriage, this success in your finances. So you have people out here who are making sure that you don't make money. They're making sure that you don't get married. They don't want you. Here's that mature woman. It's somebody's mother. High honor. Poverty. It's a woman out here. This it's an older woman out here. 
For one, it's the older woman out here that's been feeding off of someone's energy for so long, possibly since they were a child, mother, grandmother, whom, or whomever. This person wants to be of high honor, but like I said, it's like with the golden egg, like in Cinderella, the evil, wicked stepmother. As long as they have Cinderella in the house, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they need her there, but they're mistreating her. It's like you either you or or someone you're connected to you have this person here the only thing that makes them appear to be of high honor is for them to feed off of the energy of the true chosen one but see the the chosen one is in poverty because you have this mature woman that's sitting in the background sitting in high honor using someone else's energy community official person this is a woman in the community this could this could be like a, a a preacher an occultist somebody in a cult a coven or something this person is also feeding off of people who are in lack but who are chosen this this here yeah this has to come to an end unexpected income this this has to end this this is a an entity being a family or a business cult coven church something these people are taking in individuals who are in poverty who have a good soul and they're feeding this is i don't know like they're they're feeding off of people for their own personal gain and this person is looking for look let me just say expectation this person is looking and waiting for some type of unexpected income that they feel they're going to receive by, I guess, like sacrificing somebody or something like that. For some of you, this has already happened. For some of you, this is somebody in your family. And Spirit just said this, for some of you, this person, they could still be here or they could have already passed on. Somebody here is constantly trapped and in despair. But I feel like this could be a masculine because look here, you see despair, imprisonment, the concern card, and official person. Somebody is like, what the like what what is going on? Why exactly is all of this stuff happening? Coughing. Because there's an ending here. Either somebody ended something with the main female and they've been attacked by this community or th these people. Or somebody is like, they know that they won't be able to get out of a situation until they completely end something with a main female.